hi guys and welcome back to my channel I hope that you guys are all doing great today um, thank you for tuning back in to another video and if you guys are new hi my name is Rachel and I love anything that has to do with beauty and I hope that you guys will all subscribe and make sure that you guys push that notification bell down below so that you guys are notified of every time I upload a video as well as if, if you recreate any of my looks or want to go just to show some love go ahead and go to my Instagram and tag me over there I will leave my name up here up above on either side and it will also be down below in the description box and with that being said, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a dupes video for you guys. I am going to be doing a Anastasia Beverly Hills Soap Culture dupe. So this is what the palette looks like. And I found a dupe at TJ Maxx, which is the Revolution Makeup Revolution London palette, which the looks like that and here is what that looks like I will be going ahead and putting swatches in now and um, so that you guys can see the comparison of both shadows and with that being said if you guys want to continue to see how I got this look and how I compared these two palettes to each other then keep on watching Alright guys, um, so I'm going to be using the Silk Culture from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I will be doing that on my right side, um, so on my right side of my face and on my left I will be using the Makeup Revolution London palette which looks like that. I did find mine at Target. So here is what this looks like. And here is what the subculture palette looks like. And then I will put them side by side. That way you guys can see the comparison. So that is what they look like side by side. And yeah, and so since today is more of a dupe video, I am going to be more focusing on my eyes today. So I'll be doing the rest of my face off camera and then coming back and we will see if they um, look alike. Um, so with that being said, I did do my eyebrows. I'm going to be priming my eyelids and I'm going to be using what I usually use to prime my eyelids. I'm going to go ahead and bring you, bring you guys in a little bit closer so you guys can see everything. Okay, so now that I've brought you in a little bit closer, up close and personal, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be going in with the NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer, which just looks like that. And I'm going to be using that to prime my eyelids. Okay, so I'm going to be using that to prime the eyelids.
Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the um, right side, which is the ABH Subculture Palette. And I'm going to be going in with um, Mercury, which is just a nice gray color, which is this color here. I'm going to be putting that right into my crease. And I will be using different brushes, of course. Put that right side again. This brush here, which is from Moda, I'm going to be picking up the Revolution palette, and I'm going to be going in with the gray color in this palette, which is this one right here. I'm putting that right into the crease. So right offhand, the Revolution one was way better to blend out, and I do feel like it might be a little bit more, it is um, darker than the Anastasia one. So I'm going to go ahead and build up that Anastasia one, and I'm going to go in with a more fluffier brush, which... I'm going to go in with this is it, Cosmetic, IT Cosmetics brush and still picking up some of Mercury and putting it right on to this side here and just kind of blending it over. I'm going to go in with a cleaner brush. I'm going to go in with this one here. It's a more bigger, fluffier brush just to kind of blend out to this right side. Excuse me. So then I'm going to go in with I think I'm going to go in with a Destiny from the ABH palette which is this nice green color right here and I'm also going to be putting that right into the crease. I 
And then going back in with that fluffier brush, I'm just going to blend out all of these edges. And then the same thing with the Makeup Revolution. I'm going to be going in with this color right here and put that right into the crease. And then going in with a fluffy brush on that side, just going to clean up all of these edges. Okay, and for the um, lid, I think I am going to go in So for the ABH, I'm going to go in with Electric, which is this nice shimmer here, and I'm going to put that all over the lid. So just like that, and then for the Makeup Revolution, I am going to go in with this color right here, which is this nice shimmery green color. So the Anastasia one looks a little bit more like wet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, dip and spray my brush just to see if that will help. Okay, so I think that is as good as we're going to get. 
I'm going to go back in with, um, I think I'm going to go with Unlimited, which is, so I'm going to go with Unlimited, which is this nice cream color here, and I'm going to be putting that right into the, kind of blending everything out and putting it into the inner corner. Just, uh, just like that. And then going in with that first brush we used and some of Mercury and I'm going to mix it in with a Dawn. Just to clean up these edges. And then we're going to go in and do the same with the Revolution palette. I'm going to go in with this color, with this color right here. I'm putting that in the outer V and crease. And then again, going in with my blender, I'm just going to blend out. Okay, so I think that is it for the eyes. Um, I do notice that the makeup, um, that the EBH palette is quite a bit more pigmented and just has a more um, better color payoff rather than the Makeup Revolution um, side. I do feel that they're more a little bit more chalky. Um, they do blend it very well. I would give that I will give that credit to them to this palette um, I do feel that the makeup revolution palette is quite a bit more lighter than the ABH palette but with that being said I mean they do look the same the same so I'm gonna go ahead and finish my the rest of my face off camera and I will be back a few moments later so i have finished the eyes i've done my face makeup and everything included in that and put my eyelashes on i'm gonna go ahead and finish the lower lash line and i'm going to be um um using these flat def like definer brushes kind of and i'm gonna go ahead and get um some of Destiny, which is this color right here, is what we're going to be using um, to put under the under eye or on the lower lash line. And I'm just and um, smoke it out. And for the uh, left side, I'm going to go ahead and go in with that olive green shade 
here and put that on the dupe side. And then to smoke it out, I'm going to go ahead and use Untamed, which is that shade here that we used as well. And then for the Makeup Revolution palette, I'm going to be going in with this color here. Okay, so the to finish off the eyes, I'm going to add um, some of the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in a version. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys out and... Um, finish up the face. All right, so now that I have you guys zoomed out, let's go ahead and finish up the look. I'm going to go ahead and limp my lines with the LA Girl Perfection Perfect Precision Lip Liner in Cafe. And to um, put on my lips, I'm going in with the Milani Bahama Beige lipstick, which looks like that. And for gloss, on top of that, I'm going in with the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick and Bel Air, which is just, I got a little travel size. All right, guys, and then to finish off this, I'm going to go in with the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Alright guys, here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this dupe video. It is my first dupe video that I have done on my channel. And I really hope that you guys will subscribe and make sure that you like push that like button and the notification button. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye guys.